Well, next Tuesday, Palm Beach County Commissioners will vote for the second and likely final time on whether to approve a controversial new 55 and over community in West Boca Raton. Controversial because the homes would be built in what's called the Agricultural Reserve. It's an area that voters largely set aside for farming and green space over the past 20 years. Well, today developer GL Homes, which owns that property, is offering to trade comparable acreage further north and a package of pricey civic improvement projects in order to get around those preservation rules. CBS 12 Chief Investigator, our I-Team Chief Investigator, Mike Magnolia, is in the studio tonight. And Mike, we're hearing from people we haven't heard before, farmers. That's right. Hi, Jim and Liz. We're hearing from farmers and growers. They could be very influential in all of this. And they say that this uh, pending vote on Tuesday will decide the future of Palm Beach County's Ag Reserve. Mike Atchison's family nursery is in West Delray Beach. It's in Palm Beach County's Agricultural Reserve. He's also the president of the local chapter of the Florida Nursery Growers and Landscape Association. Mike and his group are hoping to convince the majority of the Palm Beach County Commission to vote no on the proposal to build 1,000 homes and 277 workforce housing units on a parcel of land in West Boca Raton. I feel like it'll be the uh, final nail in the coffin for the Ag Reserve. This was supposed to be land that was uh, preserved for green space only. Atchison is concerned if GL Homes gets permission to build this new neighborhood off of State Road 7 in Western Boca, the rest of the farmland around here won't last much longer. Atchison and many of his industry peers hold the belief that the Ag Reserve contains unique soil and has an ideal microclimate. I hope the commissioners realize this is a special place. You know, we don't need any more development. We need more. We need more green space. We need, we need farms for future generations. And uh, and I just hope that they can see that this would be a giant mistake on their part if they let this go through. In three previous stories, the I team has detailed what GL Homes is offering the county. We looked at the potential impact on our area water. GL Homes will build a hundred and fifty million dollar water treatment project in the acreage, and the company will give land to the Jewish community in West Boca for a private account. Academy, a community center, and other projects. And we've attended events where nearby neighborhoods have tried to petition the public to speak out to reject the proposal. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. State Representative Rick Roth is a farmer, and he too is trying to sway the commissioners who have already approved the plan by a five to two vote. Roth wants them to reevaluate what GL Homes is gaining and what they're offering. They're willing to do an ATV park, a 640-acre reservoir. They're willing to put in a, a synagogue, libraries. They, they're making so much money off this deal, and nobody's talking about why it's a bad deal. It's not the same kind of soil. It's, it's, it does not yield what that sandy soil does in the Ag Reserve, not even close. So they need to vote this one down. But here's a farmer who rejects that assertion. Thomas Produce is one of the largest vegetable growers in Florida. And Stephen Thomas tells the I-Team there's nothing special about the soil on the Ag Reserve. He's told county commissioners that as well. There was a lot of discussion about the soil within the Ag Reserve. And I thought it was imperative as my family's been here farming in the Ag Reserve, you know, Southern Palm Beach County, as well as multiple other counties for over 60 years. And we have not seen any distinctive difference in the, in the soil, what we grow on it. Um, as far as the quality of the product, the yields that we get off of that, we've never seen any difference based on the soil. Thomas's contention that there's nothing special about the soil on the Ag Reserve speaks directly to the value of GL Homes' offer of comparable undeveloped acreage elsewhere in the county. And all of this has been presented to the county commission in the run-up to Tuesday's vote. I'm Mike Magnoli, CBS 12 News. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.